Goodbye, sir. Thank you. Um, Major DeMarco, since you have said uh, you brought up the First Amendment uh, at least three times, maybe more, in your statement uh, that uh, you said we were there to respect the dem uh, demonstrators' First Amendment rights. Uh, was that the order that was given? You guys in the National Guard, get out there, and your job is to respect the demonstrators' First Amendment rights. Who gave that order? Negative, sir. That was a statement from the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Mark Milley. Oh, yeah. That's the same chairman of the Joint Chiefs that went out and criticized the president of the United States. This is a different military than the one I served in, because when I was in the Army uh, at Fort Benning, commanders constantly reminded us that, uh, look, everybody knows that President Carter is doing terrible damage to the military, but if anyone criticizes their commander in chief anywhere but very privately, they'll either get an Article 15 or they'll be um, court-martialed. So this is a new military I'm finding where the, the chair of the Joint Chiefs feels it's perfectly okay to demean his uh, commander-in-chief, and then uh, you felt the need to come out and uh, uh, testify uh, differently from what we've heard from people within the administration and others that were out there. Um, so I'm trying to get used to this new military where um, you don't really feel an obligation to answer to the civilian elected uh, commander in chief. Uh, so uh, it, it's, this is really intriguing. Now, it, the rules of evidence and relevance here are much more relaxed than they are in a jury trial. But even in a jury trial, uh, you'd be compelled to ask, did the Democratic Party give you any financial assistance when you ran against John Sarbanes for Congress? No, sir. I was all self-financed. Yeah. Uh, do you have any idea how many publications have mentioned your name since you came out? against the uh, uh, the reports by people within the administration at Lafayette Park? Any ideas? Uh, negative, sir. I put my phone on Do Not Disturb last night. Yeah, okay. Well, um, apparently it's a whole lot more than you ever got when you got that 8.5% or so running for Congress. So um, it, uh, it looks like this is going to serve you well with the Democratic Party. Uh, but I am still quite concerned about our military. Um, so your job was to observe the First Amendment rights of the demonstrators. Uh, were you out there when the uh, St. John's was uh, set on fire? There were two fires set in the church? Sir, I was there the evening or that evening. Uh, by the time the church fire was reported, I was uh, over by the Lincoln Memorial. Do you know? Do you happen to know of your own personal knowledge who the peaceful, loving demonstrator was or demonstrators that set the church on fire? I have no knowledge of who the yeah. demonstrators are. Uh, there apparently were some injuries out there. Are you familiar with how many... Uh, law enforcement officers have been hurt by peaceful, law-abiding, loving demonstrators? I'm aware of the injuries that occurred between the periods of 29 May to 31 May, yeah. uh, which are which is abhorrent. I'm also aware of the, of the injuries of six National Guard personnel that were injured during that time frame. Were they injured by Park Police? Negative, sir. They were injured. Uh, one was concussed, I believe, uh, from a projectile, and then others. Uh, but were that was from one of the people that was just observing his First Amendment rights. Uh, do you know what um, Supreme Court cases include in the First Amendment rights the right to concuss uh, law enforcement? Uh, sir, uh, I have no legal background, so okay. I can't answer that. All right. I'm just curious. Well, I really have no other questions for this. So you're back. So 